Okay, hello everybody once again. Let's start with the training. As you know, the first chapter of this subject or the first module is network security devices and networking. What we are going to cover in this particular lecture is the different network security devices which Huawei has and the purpose they serve or the specific security areas they cover and how we can connect all those devices within a network to provide complete end-to-end -end security. So this is the basic introduction or the basic concept purpose of the first module to introduce you to networking devices, network security devices and their functionality within a network. As you know that networking as, as in general and network security in particular, they have evolved tremendously over the past few years. The types of networks and the type of security concerns or threats that are present in any network or any IT infrastructure have been increasing, ever increasing since the earlier days. Which means that today our networks and our IT infrastructures, which means our servers, our data centers and the applications running on those servers, they are facing more and more threats, more and more security concerns from attackers, from hackers and from, from malware around the internet that's abound around the internet. So it is very important for us to effectively protect the information that resides in our IT infrastructure and which is accessible through our networks. So because the number of threats or the types of threats or the types of security concerns have increased so much, similarly the types of devices or the types of measures that we take in order to counter those threats, they have also increased over the past many years, which means that it is now more challenging not only to protect the network, but also to understand the roles of different protection devices or different technologies used to protect the network. So the first module is going to introduce us to some of those devices which Huawei provides in order to provide protection within our IT and network infrastructure. The objectives of this first module are very simple as I mentioned, that introduce to the common network security devices and applications and then the typical network scenarios or how those devices are connected within the network to provide effective security. Okay, so the objective of this first module, objectives of this first module are to introduce you to, to the security devices and application scenarios and then to, to implement or then to see how these devices are connected within the network environment. And the contents of this module are also consistent or in line with these objectives. In the first portion of this, these slides, we're going to look at the security devices and the applications where they are used. And in the second part of this slide deck or this module, I'm going to introduce you to the various network security scenarios or the network security or, or security networks where we use these devices and how they are connected and what purpose exactly they serve in the network. So let's dive into the content and let's take a look at these different security devices. So first of all, this slide or this image presents you more or less the complete enterprise security portfolio of Huawei. So on the left hand side, you can see that we have the network and application security products. We can, we also have the terminal security products which provide us which provide us with the functionality to effectively protect our terminal devices and then the overall security management products which are used to manage this entire network application and terminal security infrastructure. As you all know that the key device or the, the probably the oldest device which is used for providing network security is the firewall. Firewall is the device which has traditionally been used as the security device setting generally at the perimeter or the edge of the network and looking at all the traffic that is coming into the network and that is going out of the network or that is moving across the networks and is providing security against different threats and attacks which is which are carried through the traffic passing through the firewall. However, the firewall technology itself has developed and grown tremendously over the years and the firewalls that we work with today are called next generation firewalls. So there are more or less three or four generations of firewalls which we have seen since the 
mid 90s up to this late 2010s over so 20 20 25 years so these are the, the current firewalls are called the next generation firewalls because they are advanced they are more sophisticated they are much more intelligent as compared to the original firewall technology which we saw probably 10 years before so these firewalls are much advanced and more sophisticated so we are going to look at these devices one by one in the next few slides then you see the next generation firewall with virtualization version or virtualized firewalls these are also very common these days because of the virtualization which we see all across us in the IT infrastructures in the data center or in the cloud infrastructures so we also have a virtual firewall version of Huawei's next generation firewall then you see the NTDDoS which is for which is for distributed denial of service protection if you want to protect your network your infrastructure from distributed denial of service denial of service or distributed denial of service attacks then NTDDoS technologies or devices from Huawei can be used. Then web application firewalls in order to specifically protect your web servers or your web assets from attacks you use the web application firewall and by the way even if you do not understand some of the the products or some of the technologies for example if you're not aware of what DDoS is what NT DDoS is or you don't understand clearly what web application firewall does that is okay we are going to discuss this in a little more detail in some of the following slides and plus you will see read about these in detail in separate modules within this course so that's okay if you don't understand all of these components shown here in the slide then firehunter big data security that's that's a new product from Huawei which is for implementing CAS cyber security intelligence system and for for managing or for protecting against APTs advanced persistent threats APTs or advanced persistent threats are much more complicated and much more sophisticated so we use, need a lot of analytics and we need a lot of assessment in order to counter those threats so firehunter is a new product that is targeted specifically at advanced persistent threats or APTs the network intrusion prevention system detection and prevention system which is uh, once again the latest model of from Huawei this is an older kind of uh, device which has been in the industry for a long time now but it's a very effective device for protection against intrusions into the network which is based on signature matching and uh, through this you can protect your network so Huawei's NIP 6000 is the product range or the product series which is used for protecting or, or uh, putting in your network and protect against intrusion similarly if you look at secure access gateway or security access gateway which is an SVN product 5800 from Huawei that is used for as the gateway device for terminating the remote users who are accessing your network through GRE tunnels or IPsec tunnels or SSL VPN tunnels so this is used for providing VPN access any type of VPN access to your network securely so we'll be looking at this product briefly as well and then we'll be looking at it in detail all the VPN technologies and the product capabilities and functionality and if you look at the top eSight unified network management this is the general purpose NMS from Huawei eSight which provides not only security management but overall network management can be provided using eSight using the various modules within eSight framework and then then uh, this also can be used to monitor it's this is also an element management system if element management system means that this can actually manage and monitor multiple elements of your infrastructure which which is not directly related to Huawei or network this might be used for managing or monitoring your UPSs your environment monitoring systems so this can monitor multiple components within your infrastructure then we have the log center security event management center because there are so many devices which are connected in your security network or your security infrastructure they are generating logs and something is happening on each device all the time so we can collect logs from different devices store them at a central place and then we can use analytics or run analytics on those logs to to make sure and to see that what is the correlation between different events that are happening or the different devices 
what is the correlation between between those happenings and then we can actually make intelligent decision making and see if there is any anomaly in the network any changed or different behavior in the network and we can predict and see if there is a problem security issue in our network then at the bottom we have first let's let's take a look at any office this is the uh, kind of vpn client that we can use for remotely accessing our network vlink is the newer version uh, any office or vlink can be used for accessing the networks remotely and securely so this is the vpn client then agile controller agile controller is is once again the policy server or the policy controller which can be used in a cloud infrastructure scenario or in a in an stn scenario or nfv or network fun function virtualization scenario where you want to push policies to your devices you don't want to implement or configure individual devices you only want to define policies you only want to define the policies on the controller on the agile controller and the agile controller then communicates with the individual components or the individual network devices itself and then implements that policy or implements those policies on those devices and the purpose of implementing security is indirectly served through this agile controller so this is a new addition to the to the hcmp version 3 and this is a very interesting development and this is not valid only for security scenarios but this is also very valid for other stn and nfv and overall cloud scenarios with with uh, huawei devices and huawei implementations